so it begins. What could be the last map of this grand final of this season of the ESL Challenger League? Pain Gaming versus ATK. Pain looking to close this series down. Just two maps. Oof. Let's see if they can do it here. ATK going to be charging up Banana. All five players in this vicinity. I mean, you have one watching towards mid. That's Fady, but ATK <laughs> charge in. Bigu almost gets his head taken off. He's lucky to be alive, to be honest. PKL spamming through the smoke. They're isolated. Bowden pushing. They turn his back towards him, and they still don't check on their flank, but Bowden has retreated, so it's okay. Thing is, Payne are really in a tough spot. All five of them on the outside and in the same angle, Mike. It's going to be tricky. Bowden map trying to take the initiative. What? No one was looking. <laughs> no one was looking for the push yeah. through tree. It's a bit of a catastrophe here, and Bowden is happy to collect the frags. It's all falling apart. It's just left the hard sell. What can he even hope to do? He finds one. A six oh. as well. What was looking to just be a consolation a prize could get risky. He does have the kit. Does he have time, though? It's looking dire. Tries to swap over, and it's over and done. ATK with a decisive pistol round win. I'm really surprised with five players there, Bowden gets to do this. It, it doesn't make any sense. Someone should have been watching the push through the smoke, but I, I think it would have been perhaps that last player in CT, but still, I mean, you have three players waiting in construction. One of them can watch the flank. Anyway, good job by Bowden to abuse that mistake. One to nothing for ATK, who have won every single pistol round so far. A nice turnaround from the previous series. Big is going to throw some utility early on here. He does connect onto Mist and does have to retreat because the Molotov is burning beneath his feet. And PKL and Hardzal, they get the openers. The MP9s do the damage, Mike. At least Swisher gets a response, but they continue to come forward. Swisher is the only one finding frags 3v2 and a rifle upgrade for Nithon. And Nithon's pressing this flank. He's pressing this flank. It's going to get so risky if they can hold them up at all. It could be a world of hurt on Ian. That deagle might just slow them down enough. There's Nikon activated. He's got one the second as well. It's a catastrophe here oh, as Pain man. Gaming top bull ATK. Mike, what did I say before this started? Don't give in to the temptation mm. to just push down banana and that's what atk does and pain oh well, they punish i admit at least there was some aggression coming through from pain and atk wasn't exactly trying to force their way down banana but still you need to be careful and atk are punished there on a round that honestly they should have had the advantage in they are going to force up here and it's not going to be too bad you got a couple of ak's uh two deagles make that one deagle a glock and a tech nine this nade's going to come through from bigu and it is pretty decent onto MOTM. ATK are slowing the pace down significantly now. That is a good idea. Mikael's been tucked in the corner here. They don't really have util to unseat him. No ball, though, certainly. There's contact with Bigu, who will collect on the first. Oh, PKL resisting the temptation here. He's eventually going to go through, but MOTM was reading this. Doesn't find the kill. There's How another on Fady instead. It's even numbers, but MOTM's limping. <laughs> oh, he just got bottled by the Molotov. The Molotov hit him and killed him. The rarest of kills in Counter Strike. I've never seen that. A bottling. In the grand finals, no less. Nekis has worked his way into the corner. He'll take full advantage of that. The bottle may have opened this, but give me the guns that close it. And that's it all said and done. No more dodgeball to be played here, John. Oh, no. What a way to go down. I, I Honestly, I've never seen that in a match. A Molotov doing I've seen a flashbang before, but not a Molly. Wow. Um, either way, I think he was dead. But still, it's yes. fun, fun to see. As uh, Nekas then finds the scout kill afterwards, but ATK were bottled up there trying to come down Banana, and at the end of the day, well, Payne was there on the receiving end to make sure that they wouldn't go any further. All right, ATK, Glocks only. They did do something okay. on Dust2 with that, but uh, those nades are good. More utility kills. Okay. Gotta kill with the Moth on this time. One of the great shots you can get here. I need to see like a YouTube compilation trick shots nades just in this map alone. That's what I want, John. <laughs> we, Let's see uh, if uh, we can get body shot kills with every single nade, including the decoy, Mike. That's mm -hmm, the goal mm -hmm. right now, I think. Yeah, I mean, we need the flash next. <laughs> the decoy up. You need to get killed with the HE hitting you, not blooming. Yes. And then, I mean, of course, a Zeus kill. Necessary. Necessary. 
This round, there will still be a scout, so it's a little bit weird for pain. But Nithon's got the big green. This ain't no scout, John. This ain't no scout. And ATK already well familiar with what that AWP can do from Dust 2. They're not looking to get another taste. Man, this utility is so very good for pain. And Amokim does get the opener despite taking so much damage. He holds his ground and takes down Big Uzera with a bit of an ill-advised peek coming from Big U. 5v4, ATK though, took a lot of damage from the util. Fady down to 29. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think Fady was actually in a fight down to 29. And MOTM down to 33. And they're going to just shift gears and go back to this A site, which is the right call. Nithon has to get away from the small top before it causes him more problems. And he does Ooh, only take a so bit open. of damage. John Arch is so is, open. Yes. A smoke info library suggests that maybe it's going to be a wrap on the site itself. Hartzell's come back to address, address this, but it's a little bit too late. It's going to be pressure on. Good counter mm, smoke. But a gap's still allowed. Neck is just forced into the pit. If he can get this first kill, he does indeed. That keeps his teammate safe. Oh, he spotted Bowden as well. He knows he's got it. Oh, that's a nice swing back in. The Molotov doesn't spread to the corner as well. So Nithon limps away. And this has all just come down to miss him. Somehow, some way, an ideal bit of positioning has all been melted away. The smoke's faded, and they were left standing out in the open. I guess Mistim will find the first, but there will be no more. There will be no more. Wow. A uh, great counter smoke thrown there towards Modo by Pain to stave off the push from ATK and create more chaos. And after that, you saw ATK. They were trying to work their way towards Modo, but the library player did the damage. And of course, Neck is from uh, Pit towards Apartments. He gets lucky, spots out Bowden, and Bowden, I don't think he saw him in return. So Neck is, does manage to uh, help his team out once more with the top frag on Dust 2. This time it's Hard Zhao at the top of 8, but still, those were critical frags from Neck is. Six round of play. Hard out tosses that smoke towards mid. ATK back onto the pistols once more. Three deagles, a Glock, and a Tech 9. And they're one deagle short. Now another HE frag coming towards Banana. Oh, spicy. All right. What a shot from Fady. Just absolutely nails Zekis to the door there. Nithon will get his gun on out, but in burying the rifle, he might open himself up to death. No, Nithon survives. In towards the pit, he goes, and oh, Richard. he's so good. Rifle up. It doesn't matter. He'll keep this round in control. Full control. But Bowden Master, he doesn't like control. He likes a little But not enough chaos. No. Yeah, that was just a great setup by Payne on to, uh, towards lane, right? They had a couple of players there, Nithon, uh, who was doing most of the damage. But as soon as one goes down, Nithon is right there to respond. And even more than that, of course, since he gets the 3k. That said, just pistols for ATK. So the result kind of expected. Now they're going to be back onto the rifles. Four AKs in the op, and they need to start getting some rounds on the board. Because if they lose here, again, their economy, it actually will be okay. Because they have the full loss bonus. But you need to just start getting rounds, period. Oh, missed him. He's burning alive. Is that in a Molotov? Down to 12 HP? It is. And oh, he does get finished gone. off by Big Uzera. He's gone. He's out of play. And another pick that goes through. Hard Zhao oh, takes no. two. Dublin up here. Faini will try and recover, but he's not even anticipating that Nithon might still be watching. This round is disaster. Pain Gaming set to find their six as one MOTM goes wandering around thinking, is there any way I can get this back? And the answer... It's a firm no. He doesn't even have the bomb. The bomb's back in spawn. There's not a chance here. Not a hope. He he just has to go for a fight, though. He can't stay alive here. No. I mean, and any damage it is important, benefit. right? Yes. That CT economy is building out of control. It's growing strong. At this point, it's been left unchecked. It's growing like uh, weeds in a sidewalk. And the concrete is starting to crack. MOTM finds one. But one is not enough to impose an economic burden here. Instead, Pain are going to take this one to the bank. Yeah, a little off on his flick. He was expecting the peak to come around that corner, but he swung too far to the right. And as a result, well, he does go down and can't do more. Uh, can't get one than more than one frag. And we're going to see that Molotov kill again onto MOTM. That was very crazy. But six to one in favor of Pain and a timeout called by ATK. They really do need to go back to the drawing board here, talk things over come up with something new they should be able to get a case here but if they want to play conservatively they can too and just go for tech nines and a decent amount of utility
I don't mind this call, Mike. Okay. Uh, because you save up enough economy to get a really much better buy up into the next round. I don't know if they're going to want the op on uh, on Bowden, but he does have enough money. It appears as though he's saving for it. So. Yeah, I'd imagine. I'd imagine they might do. Nothing's working right now. Might as well go yeah. with the gun you like most. Exactly. Well, I'm just saying, you got tech nines up? Yeet play. Missed him. Ready for the yeet play. Yeet play doesn't work as well when it's just you. He does get a kill, though. Problem is, he can't really do much with the spacing. Big Zara, ready to get rid of rifles. Can't get caught without one in hand. And Ooh, Python got dinked. He I did. Dunked. May not matter in the wash, but it does at least ask some questions. Questions like who, what, when, where, why. You see, John, if you get shot in the head, it's tough to answer any questions. It is. It's quite an <laughs> accurate statement. Firearms are dangerous, kids. Big Uzera will likely deny a bomb plant here. Though Swisher is making oh, those fires oh, no, the He ran out of bullets. He ran out of bullets. Does he get the bomb down as a result? He does. He's got the bomb plant. Success in this round, John. Miraculous bomb plant. They were already saving, but that additional $800 gives them a huge boost to their economy. Guarantees full utility is going to come through and makes them a little bit more comfortable. The thing is, seven to one in favor of pain pain are only one round away from securing at least this half and i mean despite the fact that they might be pretty vanilla here on inferno it hasn't necessarily looked that way at some points because they're swinging around wide swinging towards mid in particular big Uzera in i think it was round number seven where he came through and punished atk who were just trying to get up mid so you know pain is mixing things up enough to get into the heads of atk but here comes that op we talked about bowden is going to be checking down mid hoping the push comes through this time though pain are playing more pass with that nade Nicely thrown, does actually do a little bit of damage to Swisher and Fady, making them more that. vulnerable. It's that mortar shot, Nate. It, it's really nice, yeah. Over the building. It's one of those where you obviously can't really see it coming. It just hits you, and you're like, sure, I guess this is happening now. <laughs> there's, there's really no counterplay to it. It's just wrong place, wrong time. Yep. Oh, nice on. Might be in the right place with that Molotov. The exact right time. They're going to try and pressure Molly's back the other way in towards the porch players to push them back. They've done a good job of at least finding this corner, but what this has done is it's pushed more players back in towards the site. And are they going to reaggress? Oh, they are. Now this could get funky. That does clear the corner. Flashbang pushes him off again, and Fady will collect. Because there is wary. Wait. Oh, peek back in from Nikon. Bowden's trained and he's got it. That was too far. That was a bridge way too far. Hardzell, one and done. It's on to Big U's era now in the site. His teammate nowhere close at hand. And Big U's position compromised, but he still somehow gets the kill. Oh, where's the fucking pass? That drops the bomb. He's into Colzera. He's not got the bullet though, but he might just know. MOTM brings it back. It's. A second round, at least for ATK. Mike Bowden, I don't know what happened there. That was a miscommunication. It could have cost them the round. They knew Biggie was there. What happened? He saw him even, and then looks away. He's like, oh, he, he's not here anymore. Well, he didn't there's realize no he'd slipped past. He thought he was still behind oh, the, no, uh, no. the safe box. No, Mike, there's he no way. You've got to clear it. You've got to clear it. I'm sorry, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. ATK win the round. It's fine. All good, even if, you know... There was another reason to think about that, but the fact that he might not be in that boost spot. Still, ATK, get that round. They're on the board. They've cracked it, which is very, very good. Pain Gaming are going to have two players waiting towards Banana. Bigu is going to spam through that smoke. And ATK just want to string two rounds together. Seems on towards B. The op doesn't hit though. Bowden with a costly miss, and he's down for the count as a result. So, no Bowden master in this one. Someone else will have to step up to be the master of their destiny. Somehow that nade doesn't land on anything. It must have been a little bit too high in the verticality. And instead, Fade tries to make a very solo play towards A. And so, solo, he will die. Smoke in, at least isolates off the AWP, but there's rifles here. Stop and a punish from PKL. Flashbang timely from Nython. Sets up his teammate. And Nython's on the angle now. There is a smoke. They need to deploy it or they're dead men. And 
It's a little too late. Missed him. What? Oh, okay. what? How does this work? He was just there. He was just there. I thought I had his flank. I, I, a bomb plant results. They will correct the mistake, correct the <laughs> error. But I don't know what just happened from that. Did he go for the knife? I don't understand not sure. what we just witnessed. It, it just missed him somehow. Pulls a rabbit out of his hat to get two frags there. And Payne slipped up. They still win the round, but well, that I, was very strange. I need to see strange. this end sequence, John. Yes, yes. I need to see this again. I think we'll get it. No, we don't. That's all right. But no, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it was weird. A couple of, of weird decisions, uh, two rounds in a row there, one from ATK and one I from I just want to but... see it from Nython's perspective. Yeah. Like, did he just switch and then quick switch back? Did he fumble the buttons? Did he actually go for the knife? I'm confused. Either way, he makes up for it by getting the opening pick in this one. They win the round, and then he just goes and kills someone else. So it's going to work out. They got in here, Util in, they want to get back in towards B, PKL, so blind, but his vision clears in time. That's actually Fady's flash that caught MOTM off, so a little bit of mistiming there in the Util. But it's still going to be PKL who needs to make a play. Hearts out, waiting to be activated through the smoke, waiting for PKL's contact, and there's PKL. Just the right time to slip on out, Hearts out doing damage as well. PKL stuck in the second oranges, they're going to clear him, they're going to deal with him. Okay, okay. But it's still man disadvantage and the health is not good, John. Getting the bomb down would be nice here, but the nades are sailing through and that'll take Fady out of play. It's all in the mist him. Trying to make a cheeky play in the smoke. Oh, like I thought he might go... Boost might catch him. I thought he might go down banana there and try to slip through. Would have been a possibility. He did actually have time for it, but there's the spot. There's the kill. There's the execution. Nicely done for Payne. And they're now just one away from double digits. Wow. ATK having both of their round victories isolated and pain gaming, like you mentioned, flirting with double digits and around that ATK should be able to buy up. They are able to for sure with the MOTM at 7K and they don't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Uh, being down nine to two, I would have expected the risk to be taken there, but instead a very conservative call. Yeah. MOTM going to have the lone AK. I mean, did he get armor Deegs? It's like not a bad buy at all, and considering how much they've been getting rebuffed with guns in. Well, there's a little bit of something asked. Kill goes back on the other side, but the rifle's still making noise. If MTM could get this kill on PKL, that's the sight. Who comes in? They're gonna go through it. They're gonna go through it. PKL's not getting his break. He's still gonna get the kills though. And for PKL, oh, it's a my. massacre. Oh, beautifully done by PKL. He knew he was the last surviving member on the site, and that he had to hold them at bay, and he does exactly that. Uh, PKL as a B anchor has been very solid on both maps here tonight. Uh, he's getting 3K after 3K when he's called upon, and now he's helped Pain Gaming get up to 10 to 2. Timeout called almost certainly by ATK because this is quickly getting out of hand. They will have the full-on buy up here. It's going to be 4 AKs and the AWP. But what do they do? I mean, they're so committed to hitting this B site round after round when the success that they've had was on A. So I'm not sure. ATK just needs to try and work that A site a little bit more. I know they've been rebuffed when they went there a couple of times as well, but still it has been the site that has yielded more results. I think they're just getting a little too readable right now. Perhaps. Perhaps. I mean, the thing as well for Payne is like, uh, apart from maybe some different looks towards the A brackets fight, they're not getting wild with it. Yeah, they slowed it down a lot. Oh, oh here, here they get back. wild with it. Just as I say it, they change up the pace. Hard Zhao with a fight towards ult mid. He wants to shut them down and he's done it for two. <laughs> oh, wow. Beautifully done. Now, Nathan will come in for the bedroom peak as well. See if he can't find more. Oh, and the space has been allowed. There's a player in TFs, but Nathan's already posted. Is that alt barrel visible? From the perspective of missed him. Mm. No. Missed him's just waiting to looking, push all the but... way through. He withdraws. Opportunity missed, perhaps. But the pressure's coming in towards B. Big Uzera set up here. PKL playing anti flash. With a minute on the clock, ATK are very thinly spread. The aggression's coming in all mid. Nekis is going for the push down. He's actually missed. Missed him. But he'll come 
all the way back through through T ramp. And there's Nithon activating. So yes, and Nithon might get caught. Oh, but that reveals the information on Mistem's position. And meanwhile, look at this from Nekis. He's, he's gonna have the flank. He just needs to catch MOTM, and this could be all over. Check the banana. They're not there. He's not activated just yet, but there's the spot. There's one, and the second as well. Nekis finds it all. Catches them with their pants down, John. Yep. ATK, excuse me, <clears throat> falling in that round, and Neck is doing a great job getting out on that flank, but, uh, I mean, this is what changed. Hard Zhao throws a curveball towards ATK by charging down mid and swinging towards alt mid as well for the second frag. Well played for him, and that set the tone for the round. ATK just couldn't find a way back into it afterwards. Hard Zhao's going to toss a Molotov towards T-Ramp now, and perhaps going to push up mid again, or at least put the thought in the minds of ATK that he could do it. He's making a little bit of noise here, peeking around back and forth. Doesn't see anything just yet, but you do have Swisher tucked in up close next to mid. So maybe he can be the one to do some damage this time as ATK are trying to fight their way back into this first half, but there are only two rounds left to do so. Take some control towards top bracket. This time it's like presence on A. Paint Gaming, after showing that massive aggression in the last, they've shifted the numbers around. Changed things up. They've played the shell game excellently. But it has allowed ATK space towards the arch. That space that they will take. More utility coming in. When did Paint Gaming start to respond? And float the next player over. Based on that smoke, this could actually be a split in towards B. At least an attempted one. Look at Fady. He's so wary. He's just gone through to clear to make sure somebody didn't push through apartments. You can see him on the mini-map, making absolutely sure there's no way this could happen. And no, it's going to be an approach back towards B. So they show the face towards Arch. They pull Nithon off to focus in on that angle. And now they want to execute back in towards the B site. They're determined Time. to crack through one of these rounds. And yeah, you're right, John. 25 seconds. Now they're going. This has to work out. There's no margin for error. And well, the error is coming in thick and fast. One by one, they falter. PKL taking them out of play. And it's Nithon for that last bookending kill. They're just so determined to take this B site time after time that, uh, well, they'll even do it at a disadvantage. There's only 20 seconds left in the round once the hit comes through. And Big is there and PKL. There was still tons of utility for Pain to work with to boot. So they rebuffed that so easily. And it's 12 to 2. Pain Gaming trying to get the same score line in the first half here on Inferno as they did on Ancient two days ago against ATK, which would be 13. Let's see if ATK can at least get a third for themselves. The Bob's going to be a little limited. A Mac 10, two Galils, make that three Galils, and only one AK. That's in Fady's hands. Everyone's quieted down here on this ATK side, though, as you would expect with the score line, right? Yeah. I mean, it's devastation, right? No one's on mm -hmm. double digits in terms of kills. MOTM closest. Here comes the hit. They're going to try and execute. Sarah's pushed off. These flashbangs are good. Finally, they might have the entry they're looking for, but PKL says no. Even when it seems there might be a possibility, PKL denies. Can you go for the late flower pots here? They are. Boost up here. A timely boost up. Parts out. Pressure oh, off no. a bit. Swisher with two huge kills. This might finally be a chance for ATK. The last of the half here, John. Swisher, oh. though, dropped by a nade. he done so much work, and it's an AG to take him out of play. It's all into Bowden. He set him up. Now Bowden cannot knock him down. 13 rounds to send us to the half.
love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com. Thirteen to two. Pain Gaming just three rounds away from a spot in the Pro League, from winning this season of ESL Challenger, confirming themselves as champions. It's been five seasons, John, where they've always looked poised to be a title yep. contender, and they've never gotten it over the line. Yeah, it just feels like it's due. Right, it's long overdue for them to finally be in the grand final. First of all, and. Well, potentially take it. It's not over yet. Uh, it's Counter Strike, right? Anything can happen, but it feels like things are really in their favor right now. Everything, momentum, uh, play style, one v ones, they've got it all. MOTM waiting on the other side here with the pistols. As ATK, I mean, it's a cliche, but this is a must-win pistol. Certainly is that. Those we saw in the first half, pistol guarantees you very little. When Payne's on the other side of the server. Yes. Oh, that's crazy. I, I forgot that ATK won the ATK pistol. ATK won round, the pistol. Right? Oh, you wind up goodness. with uh, only one round off of it and two rounds in the half. Pressure on. Dooley's behind the sandbags. They activate. Swisher. Tons of damage. 
Not quite the death blow just yet, but a lot of damage found. Neck is limping. Big Azera. Not too much better. And missed him. We'll leave it down to just Nick is. Nick is with one more. A chance here. The shots have to be perfect, but he's got the USP. The headshot is a possibility. Flank. Now he's looking for the flank at just the right time. He's pulled off of it. The reload in. MOTM hears that. He comes in for the death blow, and he's got it as well. A chance here at least for ATK. And let's not forget, they were down 13 to 2 on Ancient, and they pulled it back. Do not yeah, count ATK. A little bit of a different map. It's a bit of a different map, but still. Yeah, a different map. Hope remains as long as you keep it alive. Yeah. Now let's see if <laughs> Mike, you don't seem convinced at all here. Like... Yeah, I mean, look, they won the first half pistol. Let's see if they can win uh, the follow-up round here. That's the big question. Oh. Otherwise, there's a scenario where they win both pistols and also only three rounds. That would be... Something. The first time that I've seen it, honestly. <laughs> yeah. It would be something. Yeah. But it's a decent buy up for pain, right? It is. Uh, four yeah. sets of armor, including head armor. Hides out with the AK. We know this is a team with a lot of explosive potential. They've got the presence with Big Uzera in towards the apartments. And there's only one player even close to B. And that's MOTM. He's got the util, though. Smoking a molly. This is how they like to play it. But if he goes down before he pulls the pin on those nades, I fear what might occur. He's being cautious with the nades as well. Pain, methodical with it. But if they just rocked on the site, yeah. what would they could find? Of course, they don't know, John. They'll continue to start to take this control. I think they're still going B. It does look like a bit of a fake, but the lean is starting to shift for ATK. It is coming in. A smoke will still cover off Mista. There's Resource. not a lot he could do with that MP9 unless he gets flashed through. MOTM doesn't have a flash either, so he'd need Bowden to throw it for him. Bowden's coming in to do so. Is the flash going to be here in time? Molotov into pool makes this uncomfortable. MOTM has to stay alive. The flashbang is just in the nick of time. That activates MOTM. He finds two. That might be enough here. Oh, but Bowden. Bowden gets his bell rung. Now that bomb wants to be planted. The late flower pot play comes in here, and that denies the bomb plant. Gets the kill as well. Baby with two huge frags. And that's going to be ATK. It got messy. Got a little scary there. But they do what must be done. I mean, missed him. Hasn't necessarily been getting the frags. But he assisted on the last two. And he also got two flash assists out of that. Look at the space he gives MOTM with that flash thrown. Without it, MOTM is probably dead to rights. And then Fady with the flower pots boost. Sometimes the flower pots boost can be a little risky, but that time he denies the bomb plant and gets a second one to boot. So ATK, they do convert the pistol round victory. They find a fourth, and now Payne are stuck on pistols only. And two blocks, make that three glocks and two deagles. Hard Zal spamming away, giving away his position here. And I think ATK is going to spam back, and they do. Swisher does connect for the frag. And uh, well, so far, so good for them. Mm. Nate, the Nate, look at that damage on him, missed him, he softened up, and while he still falls there, he did so much damage before, and it was actually MOTM who was taking the fight on top of the half wall, did eventually falter, and that's going to be the round for ATK, so they have done enough to build up this bulkhead, right, to actually make yeah. a run at this map. Well, 13 rounds isn't 60, that's all I'm saying. Until you hit that That's 16th true. round, anything is possible, and ATK is showing that. That said, This is look. JRT's law, 13-2, <laughs> the most dangerous scoreline. <laughs> it can't? I mean, look, any scoreline is dangerous. I, I don't care what it is. You can't ever feel too safe. Pain does have their first full-on buy up here, though, so let's not get ahead oh. of ourselves. And oh. PKL's going to get two. Missed him, and okay. MTM are going to go down, and there you have it. They tried to get so aggressive there, John. And I don't know whether there was a flashbang to accompany it, but if it was, it didn't catch anybody. There was, I believe. They jumped through the smoke, and PKL kills two. And, uh, I mean, Pain don't seem to realize it yet, but B is wide open. Well, they the probably will now. There is no one on B. Oh, that need to? It's chunky. It's chunky. Big who now knows where the last player is. They're just going to go, but Why okay. Why are they kill. Why not? Yeah, PKL's got it. 14 on the board, John. The guns come out, and it is a different story here. ATK backs against the wall. Do they choose to invest here, or do they save and play for 10, 10 rounds in a row to get OT? 
Uh, I mean, you have to invest a little bit here. Nope. You can't just go. They're going dry. Nothing. Just into the USPs. They are trusting there has in to themselves. Be something. One D go purchase. One D. And they're going to hope that outside of that, they can make the run back for 10 rounds. Barring some USP magic. Oof. That's a wow. serious bet on themselves, John. It is. That's a lot of confidence to go for that call and effectively surrender the round here. They are gambling on the A site. They have one player towards B missed him. Oh, how many utilities? Swisher gets the opener though. Mechus right. trades down immediately, but that's something. Maybe they can pick up the rifle. No, it's too far. That's your one dig investment. Fadey might try and slip in towards boiler. Could potentially. Nope. Nope. Didn't find nope. the timing. Nope, nope. Body's dropping. The B site is taken. With it, these rifles may just leave. Or kill everybody. That's the other option. Know. There's two options here, John. Leave, plant <laughs> yes. the bomb, play safe. Kill everybody is the other option. I just, uh, speaking of killing everybody, I'm surprised all three players on pain just swung mid there. Like, yeah, we're not even going to take a chance planting yeah. this bomb. We just want to kill you right now and end this. So, well, they knew he's low, yeah. right? They know his of course, position. Of course. If you let Might him well. go, there's always the yeah. chance he pulls some Rambo stuff and disappears in the jungle and picks you off one by one. They you just swing them then, you got the numbers. Yeah, and they didn't want uh, the same thing that happened on Dust 2 with Hard Zhao on their side, right? Mm -hmm. To happen to them. So I guess I got to understand it. That said, what can MOTM do here? The bomb hasn't been planted, but maybe he thinks ultimate is clear? No. Not really. It isn't, because Nekas is waiting there, and should he even go down into mid, he will be probably dead to rights unless he clears left. But I mean, uh, it's worth looking. The Deagle's nothing to save into the next round. Damage of could course. be something. A gun would be nice if you could find it. It's not going to happen. You can appreciate the attempt. But the attempt now is to find 10 rounds in a row. Pain have 10 championship points. Whew. One round. Here we go. And they're in the pro league. One round of the next 10. Op is out for Bowden. Can't say ATK won't at least get one good try. MOTM limited on the FAMAS. And John, here's a key point. Hmm? There ain't no kits. Not a kit in play for this last round. I <laughs> could be the last round. <laughs> I do not like that at all. At all. Sacrifice some util for the kits, guys. Maybe that was a miscommunication because usually there would be at least one kit up here. I think some nerves are setting in here for ATK. It's not usually a mistake that they would make. Perhaps not. Perhaps the mentality is if they get into a retake, well, it might just be over anyway. Perhaps. So why let them on a site in the first place? You still down mid. Damage done just yet. Bowden is getting spicy with it, Love and it. it's going to work out. Plays true to himself, goes fast with the AWP, and he finds the pick. He finds first blood. Full pressure on the Forge player. Heat turned up in Boiler, though, and that will prevent this peak from coming through, at least for a moment. Oh, they know the players are here. They want this fight. They don't want to let them get out of position, but it's heavy presence for ATK. They got four players here. They should have the advantage if the hit actually comes through and Bowden strikes first. Here comes the Massacre, though. They need more. MOTM trades it out. Neck is doing damage, but a 2v3. And Neck is low. Means that this is going to be tough. Nithon is actually left. He's all the way on the other side of the map. And there is still missed him in the back of his sight, the insurance policy. But can Nithon clear this out? He's looking for it. He's spotted the player. And missed him just wants to survive. A smoke to provide oh, cover. And now Nithon all on his own. Oh, and missed him. Will hold on. No bomb plant here. No retake necessary. No kit required. Yeah, well, fantastic play from Bowden. Goes back to that aggression that's been working for him as of late. Right around the edge of that smoke to find the opener. It only took that one frag to push Pain completely off of the B hit. They were convinced they had to go towards A, and four players were waiting for them there, including Bowden, who had rotated all the way around from the B site to support, and he ends up with three kills at the end, especially that one on uh, the player who's trying to join up with the push towards B. So, well played. All right, ATK. Still have life, but they need nine more of those. Let's see if they can do it. Trying to get off to a good start. Emma Tam finds the opener. Fady the second and the third. 4v2 just like that. Payne want to try and end this quickly, but ATK have other plans. Still with these two players alive. Nithon is there, right? Nothing is a sure thing. Nothing is a definite. 
there are no absolutes when this kind of star power is arrayed against you. Ithon going up for a little verticality. Oh, oh, oh. I like this, but MOTM is ready for it. The trade is there, but it's a 1v3 now required for Big Uzera. Three kills needed. A minute to work with, though, when there is just one player towards B. It's missed him. He was up to the test last time. Who does Big Uzera want to test now? Right now, he wants to test Father Time. As he's letting those seconds drip off of the clock, he will have to make a move eventually. Which direction does it take him? 30 seconds. Hmm. Really testing the patience, and ATK aren't really moving many muscles. Apart from Mistim, who's moving a whole bunch of muscles to go for the jump peak. Bowden trained on the angle. Bowden will hit. Great patience from ATK. They don't try to force the issue. Let Big Uzera do whatever he wants. Just hold the angles and wait for him to come to you. And, well, that's exactly how it plays out. So, seventh round picked up from ATK. Fady did a great job with MOTM here. I mean, the fact that he gets not one but two really helps ATK take control of this round. So, Payne, still looking for that final one. And, I, I mean, they're on to pistols now. So maybe a quick play won't be out of the cards. But I think... Uh, ATK are perhaps hoping that Payne can you try to go with those quick hits because they're ready to answer. They are. They are, at least initially. What is Nick is holding back with a Glock? Eh? For the bedroom peak? Eh? Hmm. I don't, I don't know what, what he was doing all the way back there. But anyway, apartment has been taken. We can at least condense some of these angles with the pistols. No armor, no util. Means whatever they do, they're doing it unassisted. Such a heavy emphasis from ATK onto this A site as of late. Mm. Well, it's been fair, right? You just want to set up the one player with some util to jump yeah. spot, and then MOTM falls back, and he's got that utility. He's just a smoke this time. He usually likes to play with smoke from Molly in this spot. Then you just you put those down as soon as you detect presence to slow up the take. All right. Pretty straightforward there, ATK. Clean it up. Missed him with a 4K. All right, missed him. Yeah, just uh, the patience again. Another championship point here for Payne. They're going to have one until this one is either over or into, o into OT, right? Potentially seven more, yeah. Potentially seven okay. more championship points, and all it takes is one. One error from ATK. No room for so mistakes. So much pressure. Well, the back's against the wall. Sometimes that's when the dog really comes out. Heavy exchange here towards B early on. ATK bringing three players for the initial fight, trying to set up Odin to take this control, and a ton of utility in is just soaking up damage for pain. They've had to bail. They couldn't take the heat. They couldn't take the fire. They lose that foray. Oh, I don't know. Utility from the CT side, but it's this engagement apartments that could be huge. Oh, flashbang. Good. It's a dink, but it's through the wall. Unlucky. Fady survives. Fady survives. Is there a flashbang for this? Neck is, is he just going to try and walk it? Oh, MOTM found the perfect timing to punish that play. No free passage through the smokes today. Silent but deadly for MOTM there. And now pain. I mean, they don't know where to go. They've been rebuffed from B, rebuffed from the A site, and they're trying to regroup here into mid. 52 seconds left, some still some time, some time to go for an execute. They're going to toss a smoke to the A site, maybe trying to attract more attention from ATK, but Bowden is actually going to rotate around towards Arch, which puts him, in, puts him in a better position to get to that B site should the hit come there, and it absolutely is. Missim's going to try and go for the counter smoke here, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. They're coming through. Missed him. Pressure on, he's trying to swing, he's got one. One and done, but MOTM from the back of sight, dancing around the pillar. He's surviving, he's thriving, he's trying to do more, he's trying to wait for his he's teammates to get away. activated. He's flying here and down for the count, but he spent so much time 
wasting the moments for pain. Oh no. Maybe Zara though. Oh, something's happening here. That bomb still needs to be retrieved. Swisher from the flank. He could be huge, but the Molotov's too late. And they're past it now. They're past it now. Bowden wants to get activated. That bomb is down. Swisher's out. It's a 1v1. Bowden master the fate of his team rests on his shoulders, and he's oh, up to no. the task. <laughs> Oh, Bowden makes up for his mistake because he throws a flashbang into the B site when MOTM literally has an opportunity to punish both players from pain that made their way there. And then when MOTM's completely blinded, well, he goes down, said Bowden. <sighs> At least saves the day for his squad and makes up for that error. Oof, he would have been really down on himself if that was a difference maker, of course, in this map. But it won't be one more round at least here to play. <sighs> yeah. A4 is out in a big way for ATK. Three of them up. So it's clearly Mad Cannon, I guess. Oh, oh I I Bowden going for that fly in peak. The smoke was a little deeper than he expected, perhaps. Okay, it didn't work this time. I'm out. I'm out. This is fine. Where does Pain actually want to bring this pressure? They've got this apartment's presence. When the smoke fades, the duel with Swisher could be huge. But he's not going to allow it. He's not going to stick around. He'll just back away. So Pain, with no opening pick here, John. We're left with some choices. They don't have much space either way. I mean, space gained, right? Uh... They're starting to move their way into mid, but they don't really know what's waiting for them on the other side. Good Molotov thrown there. At least uh, forces one player away from that angle. Fady going to be peeking Pulse towards pop. apartments, and he's got Swisher with him. Pulse pop. <gasps> Fady. Timing. I thought he was going to go for the aggression. Not quite, but he still posted up here on the balcony. Uh, it seems like they're going to come his way. 30 seconds. They need to commit to something. There needs to be something. And Fady. Oh, the timing Ooh, is brutal too eager. for him. Now pressure on a Swisher. They haven't cleared the porch just yet, but they've gained the pit. Bowden's trying to come back into support. He does in the nick of time, but this pit player could be massive. Swisher has to survive. He could do no such thing, and Bowden is down 10 seconds, but enough time to plant this bomb. A 2v4 now. Another situation where ATK needs a hero. Missed him and mod him. Who will step to the plate here to save their chances to keep them alive? PKL still in mid. Oh, there's one. Mistim does find the first, but now PKL activates. He starts to creep on in, and if he finds MOTM, that would be disaster. The MOTM left, and that will be 